So as with all small spaces, we have a problem with keeping everything organized. And part of that problem is because this RV, the remodel isn't fully finished. So all of the storage spaces are not yet finished. And one of the places that we saw when we first bought this RV is there's a, there's a gap next to the refrigerator. And we decided that would be a really good place for one of those vertical sliding pantries for things like spices and bottles and cans and things like that. Uh, they're all over Pinterest. So we were like, well, that'd be a cool idea to build. And we just haven't gotten to it yet. And now that we're back at a place where we have access to a table saw and a chop saw and can actually build stuff, um, I think we're gonna get to building it. Ready to start building stuff? Yes. Let's get this done. Today is another construction day that we're very excited about. We're building a slide out pantry next to our fridge. These trim pieces will probably have to come off. So you're just gonna rip them. Yeah. Whoa, boom. We might wanna put them back up later. At the, least to like here. The destruction has begun. So what we're hoping to do is build a pantry in this space. We have some heavy duty slide out pole, drawer pole slides. I don't know what you want to call them. And we're going to build something for all of our spices and our canned goods. All of these cabinets up here are filled with spices and baking goods and um, canned goods and all of that kind of thing. And what I'd like to do is build a pantry there in that slide out space so that all of our dishes can come out of these drawers down here and go up into these cupboards and then all of our cooking things that are currently all over the counter, those things can go into those drawers. And hopefully we'll be a little bit more organized. Our ultimate goal is to have um, a place for everything and everything in its place. Hey, that looks level. That's oh, good. Awesome. I didn't think that was gonna be that way. At least pretty close. So, got the uh, the lower slide in. So this goes in. Slides out nicely. I got the upper mounting brace on there. We're gonna put some uh, L brackets to help hold it up against the back wall. But uh, as soon as that's done, we should be able to start building the actual cabinet. So that'll be cool. We got some L brackets. Secured this board in three places. This is going terribly. And then I drop a screw. Where'd that go? The place where all lost screws go. The beginnings of the shelving is happening. Look at that. You know, the great thing is that this is such a deep shelf that if we put a little lip on the back of it like the ones that I don't use as often like cardamom and stuff could go behind things just up a little bit I am loving this this is this is going to take to like free up so much space look at that I mean, it's just a shambles in there, but. This is our rough plan. Spices on the top, some bigger shelves for our bigger items, cans near the bottom. I think that's how we're gonna do the drawer or the shelves for now. Yeah, I think that's gonna be. It's coming right along. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at these, our spacers too, and I think we should keep them because if anything feels like it's the overloaded. Oh yeah, we, we can use them as a vertical. We spacer in, yeah. Cool. Okay, here we go, last screw. Okay, 
and there we go. We are got shells. <sighs> Made a box. We did make a box. Look at that. Did you do it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. See, it's holding it into the glue a little better. Oh yeah, I can see that. So it's not gonna squish it out. That's gonna be great. We did some good cuts. Yeah. Some deep cuts. That solid. Satisfying. fading fast but she is ready to go in and be a pantry okay holy cow it actually turned out really good yeah like I'm actually impressed with our building our building skills yeah I'm not very good at building stuff square Oh, you built this amazingly. I'm not good at measuring and cutting the right. Yes, you size. are. You're way better than I am. Don't say that. Usually I'm not. Now we are at the troubleshooting phase of putting this in. It's gone very smoothly today and we've basically done the entire project all today. Three trips to Home Depot. Uh, my hands are cold. I'm cold. Um, and now we've hit a little bit of a snag. Just a little Hopefully bit. fixable. The thing is, these poles weren't really designed to be horizontal. They were designed to be Wait, they were designed to be horizontal, not vertical. Yeah, not flat. Not they're flat. To be on the side of drawers. They're on the side of drawers. And we've kind of flipped them. So we're just kind of putting them to the test to see if they can stand the strain. They're supposed to be 500 pound, but this way, not this way. So but we just decided to go for it. And if it doesn't work, we'll just have to make a couple of... We'll make some adjustments. Some adjustments to our box and rehang it a different way. But for now, we're trying the easier of the two ways. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, here's what it looks like. So when it's out, it does look like it leans just a little bit. I think that's just the nature of having something vertical and want to bend down and the bottom being a free slide. So it wants to slide in and kind of lean. But uh, it looks like the slides are handling it fine. We'll see once we get it all loaded up with stuff. But uh, for now, we're going to use it like that and uh, see how we like it and see if we have to modify it. So this thing, we've been using it for a couple of days been working really well. Look at how much more organized everything is. We have space for stuff, things aren't packed full. We actually have dishes up here. This used to be like all the spices and canned foods and all that stuff. But now all of that stuff is here. Check that out. How cool is that? 
So yeah, it's been working great. Uh, we'll have to see if those slides hold up that way being flat, but uh, so far indications are good. So on to our next project. The next big one is the uh, TV cabinet. I think that's the one we're going to tackle next since we're in a build we're in a place where we can build stuff. So uh, we'll catch back up with you soon.